Oh, yeah. It's yeah, so yeah. professional. Dude, this is like in ear microphones, bro, right? Yeah. Hi, I'm with BGJ World TV. We're here with uh, Shire Boy, Numero Uno, Frodo Calistino, aka John Calistine. Uh, hi to those people around BJJ World. So, what's up, man? How's it out here to watch inside. Really nice. Corner one of my teammates told me in his match and uh, just enjoy the event as usual. How do you like it? Oh, I love that one. Especially since it's the East Coast. Yeah, we don't got to travel. We don't got to travel to California. ADCC, right? Yeah. This is probably the best event on the East Coast. What's, what do you feel like is the difference between this one and uh, the one you can get at? Um, I say different, but uh, I kind of I, I kind of like the uh, the tournament at this time. I like the twelve fighters. Oh the yeah, that are in it. Yeah. What do you think? And you got any predictions or anything for that? That's what I'm saying. Are you happy with the six minutes, or do you think they should have done maybe ten? Eight or ten, right? Eight or ten. Yes. Yes. Like most expert. There's a lot of feeling out. Yeah, I mean, there's a feeling out process that usually takes anywhere between, I think, like two and three minutes. So with six, you only have two or three minutes. I mean, six minutes is very hard. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Yeah. Especially on this stage and everything, too. Like, you, you might not even have your head in order until, like, three minutes in. Yeah, yeah. and I mean, I learned that with the trial of being six minutes and stuff like that. It takes a while to, like, adjust. And you're used to competing yeah. 10, 15 minute matches to a six minute match. And, with a high level competitor, it's kind of hard to like, get things going. Would you say that was your biggest takeaway from doing fucking BCC? The trial, yeah. That's just getting yeah. used to competing in that short time span. That's six minutes. And the, and the points rules that I had before that, I haven't competed with rules in like four years with points. So, well, what do you think about like this is such a weird sport because if you're at the highest level, you have to be good at a bunch of different rules. Yeah. So, I don't know, what's your take on this? How has that affected your training? I mean, it just changed things a little bit. Getting away from like a set on the rule set, like an ADI rule set. Uh, yeah. Because some only rule set, you can drop back on submissions and there's no penalty, negative yeah. penalty for doing so. But when there's points involved, if you're the guy on top, usually you have to pass or expose the back or, you know, anything besides the position where you could be giving up top. So, I mean, yeah. it's, a different, it's a different game and just adjusting to it, learning it. You know, How's that been? I mean, in training, you know, working a lot of guard passing, a lot of wrestling. Yeah, dude. Yeah, tell, tell me about it. Every day. Yeah, I get beat up all the time. <laughs> It's Great. the era of wrestling now. It's yeah. turning into. It's the era of wrestling. Yeah, I think. What, what, you think that's going to be the new meta now? Like it's, I think before, it was leg locks, and now I feel like it's grips are wrestling. Yeah, wrestling. 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 <laughs> so what are we even doing jujitsu for? Wrestling. Just trying to be a wrestler. Yeah. That's why I'm doing that. Shooting numbers and Flow wrestling. Hello. Fuck yeah. yeah. No, but I, I feel you, man. Like. Uh, Honestly, it's it's hard to, uh, I'd say, like, keep my ADCC mindset and then go into all these fucking sub-only uh, tournaments and, like, try to still compete. Like, I'm not at the highest level, but I see it at the highest level. Like, it's difficult to try to balance all that together. Yeah. It's about, like, then finding the perfect game where you're able to prevent guys from just playing it out, um, as well as still looking for submissions and not giving up. And being exciting, too. Being exciting. Yeah, because he wants to see... Forward I don't. Yeah, it's kind of past that. You know? Yeah, but that's what I, I honestly think that's it. But like we're forcing evolution because those guys aren't really getting matches anymore. Like, you see, guys like that who are really good, just scooting forward. They're not going to get the matches they used to. They got to enter in those free tournaments just to get fights. Do you think this might be the pinnacle of the sport? Is this the highest it's going to reach? Because it's hard. It seems hard to get. Jiu Jitsu to break into the mainstream. Do you think it will continue to grow? Especially because more guys are getting far away from the blood scooting. Yes. Um, look at pro wrestling. People want to see somebody get slapped in the head or something. You don't see people want to see somebody get punched in the head and slammed on the neck. 
um, in Jiu Jitsu, more guys are going to be wrestling. I'm excited to be wrestling. So, I definitely think that people are going to be more interested to watch it as the sport is progressing and moving into this era of wrestling. Uh, do you, would you change anything about the rules if you had a chance, or what would be your ideal rule set? My ideal rule set, I would say, would be the Kasai rule set. Because submission attempts are awarded. You hear that, Rich? This guy loves Kasai. Submission attempts are awarded uh, points. I mean, I like the ADCC rule set a lot yeah. um, as well. But uh, I don't know, I just. I, I like the Kasai rule set better just because, you know, the submission attempts are awarded points. And, you know, yeah. You, know, you don't have to stand up and wrestle. Yeah, time. I mean, you can wrestle, but you can also wrestle for your butt. You're not forced to stand up and engage in a wrestling match with a human wrestler if you don't want to. Yeah, I think that's a great point. So, yeah. I mean, it's jujitsu at the end of the day. That's the only thing for me that I see that I don't like as much is the fact that as a jujitsu guy, I'm not a wrestling match. I'm having a match with somebody else. This is a high level wrestling. I don't want to have to be forced to stand up and start to compete with them. Yeah. Mean, if I do need to engage in some kind of wrestling for my butt, that's fine, but I don't want to be forced to stand up and engage like that. Roger. I think I think that's a great point because at the end of the day, this is jujitsu. This isn't wrestling, so it has to be some sort of blend. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, so what's the future hold for Frodo? Uh, trying to get some matches going in the summer. Yeah. Stay a little bit more active this year. 2018. Had some injuries, had a lot of crap going on, uh, so it wasn't as active as I yeah. should be. But 2019, planning to be as active as I can. I have a bunch of these matches that people are asking me to have. You know. So, oh, like, what? Can you spill any beans? Yeah, not yet. But Come on, dude. Give us something, yet. dude. I gotta, I gotta have you a little bit of mystery. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I'll be checking in on yeah, you. There'll be, there'll be some stuff. Hey, there. just answer my text, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got one more question. Con